arrivals. Um, just a uh, thrill really to, um, to be back at the Buster Pan. Is he 100% going in? Uh, no, he, well, he, he wasn't 100%, but he was, you know, he was, you know, any inter county player when they're, when they're playing, like it's, it's, it's very hard to get to 100% for these um, big matches, like um, especially when, when, when the scheduling of matches is so tight. So there's, there's always a number of players that are, you know, that are touch and go, and um, he was touch and go whether he played or not. It was good enough to play. You're in the monster line, you know. Yeah, yeah. Delighted to be there. Delighted to be there. Um, it was one of our aims at the start of the year was to uh, get back to that monster final and um, tough competition. You know, it's a really tough competition to to um, uh, to get through to a monster final. Um, so we're just delighted with that. Did it feel like a game you kind of had to win two or two or three times that you were, you looked to be outside? I suppose, yeah, there, there, there was those, those occasions that um, we, um, we, we had got on top um, and left them back into us. You know, that happens when, you know, when you're conceding goals, um, very hard to put away and then with the quality of the forward line that they have, like just um, very hard to keep an eye on them for, for, for so long and um, not fair play to our lads, they stuck at it and uh, we're delighted to win. Your response, Brian, to the two second half goals was to get a quick point and that obviously set, set the tone and reset the tone for you. Yeah, that's, that's always crucial in Ireland like that um, when, you, when, you, when you shift a, a blow like it's, it's you know, to, 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 to come back and respond is a sign of a good team and we were delighted with the response. And to come back after losing to Tipperary here, that put you on the back a few weeks ago, but to, to win the three Three games. Yeah, well, look, I suppose you know there, there was um, there was a, there was a lot of um, there was a lot of thought and a lot of uh, soul searching done in relation to ourselves and where we were going as a group um, um, after that um, tip game and you know everything was on the line against Limerick and um, you know got through the Watford game and then here was just you know there wasn't as much pressure on the game even though. We, you know, it was such a vital game, but there wasn't that 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 that, that, that real tough pressure that, um, um, that that we had going into the Limerick game. So um, it was a little bit, maybe a little bit more freedom in our play, and we probably played a little bit better, um, particularly coming down the stretch. You really seem to pull from the crowd, Brian. Even David at one stage turned to the, the terrace and gave it a, a double fist bump. Just seemed to get executed for that. Uh, I, I thought the crowd were just. Uh, Fantastic! Like they were, uh, they were brilliant. Uh, you know, a lot of those, um, a lot of those people there that are supporting the team have put an awful lot into, you know, all those lads. Like whether they're, you know, whether they trained them at under six or whether they looked after them and drove them here. There, you know, there's a great, um, there's a great appreciation uh, from the lads. First of all, from for what people have done from them, and I suppose the supporters are are looking at, um, at looking at that bunch, and you know, there's. They're getting behind them, you know, they appreciate the work that they're putting into it. In a period like that last 10 minutes, it's so frantic, the crowd noise is deafening. Like, I imagine you're probably just standing on the sideline hoping that the guys on the pitch can just sort themselves up because it must be fairly difficult to get messages across, like in that sort of an atmosphere. Yeah, I think so. It's just you become a spectator at that stage, like, and you just um, you leave it to the players, and um, the players go and, and, and win the game. And the players go and, and, and do what they do. You know, that they want to be out there, um, and they, they're all smart individuals, smart guys, and um, uh, they really did well, particularly in that last 10 minutes. The end of the game, though, was from two year half backs, and some of them are pressure scores when you. When, when you need them, particularly David Ryan. Oh yeah, yeah. No, look, I suppose they had um, uh, Joyce sat back in front of their full back line, like, and, and seemed to be, uh, was starting to dominate the game, like, and was getting on a lot of ball. But it meant that we probably had a bit of space um, in our our half back line, had a bit of space, and they had a bit of freedom to uh, come up the field. Um, and uh, fair play to our lads, it's all very well to have the space, but to put the ball over the bar is, is crucial. The scenes at the end there, like you've seen some great days for Clare Holland, but that seemed very special. Like, have you ever actually witnessed anything like that before? 
Yeah, look, it's brilliant. It's brilliant for the supporters. You know, the supporters really played their part today. Uh, brilliant for the players. Uh, brilliant for everyone who's involved. Like, um, just uh, just outstanding. Um, you know, and you know, you have to say, like, you know, the game of the second half. One of the but. Yeah, look, that happens. You know, the, 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 you know, it's 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 hard to get the freeze uh, to begin with, but um, you know, it's hard to put them over the bar as well. Like, and uh, sometimes they go over, and sometimes they don't. So today, they just didn't. So you just the important thing is that you you know you don't dwell on it too much, and you just uh, try and drive on and uh, uh, try and get you know concentrate on the next ball and try and get get the next score. And that's what our lads did. You're heading for a Munster final now, Brian. Uh, back in the Munster final, you really would want to get silver. You'd like to get silverware, I'm sure, now to get to win this Munster championship. Ah, uh, sure. Look, yeah, th that's that's the name of the game, Nicholas. You know, it's yeah. um, it's all about um, about trying to win. It's all about trying to win matches and you know trying to go as far as you can in the competition. Um, we're in a Munster final now, and. No, I suppose we just see what. Uh, it's fierce hard work to get to Munster final. Awful hard now in Munster to get to just to get to a Munster final. It's it's such a, a mountain to climb, and you've climbed it now. Yeah, um, it doesn't feel like that hard work. No, it doesn't. Doesn't, doesn't feel like um, like that. It's uh, you know that there was a massive amount of work um, uh, this year. It seemed like an awful hard work last year, but um, maybe maybe not um, maybe not as much this year though. Thanks, William Brain. Thanks very much.